After the bitter wort is cooled and aerated, it is pumped into a fermentation vessel. As soon as the wort is inoculated with yeast, also known as pitching, the fermentation process can start. It has been said that brewers make wort, but yeast make beer. The importance of yeast was not well understood until the work of Louis Pasteur in France and Emil Hansen in Denmark in the late 1800s. Yeast pitching can be done with the yeast slurry recovered from the previous fermentation, in which case the wort must be oxygenated. The yeast begins to reproduce and uses up all the oxygen within the first 24 hours of fermentation for cell wall production. The other option for yeast pitching is the use of dry yeast, which is added directly to a fermenter without the need for previous oxygenation. Generally speaking, pitching rates are 1 million cells per milliliter per degree Plato. That means that there are about 12 million yeast cells in each milliliter of beer at the start of the fermentation process. Wort can be pitched with one of many lager or ale yeast strains. At the start of the beer fermentation, the yeast cells begin to reproduce and multiply by budding. During the fermentation, the number of yeast cells increases between 3 to 6 times. Throughout fermentation, the yeast metabolizes fermentable sugars into alcohol and carbon dioxide and many different flavor compounds. Ales are fermented at higher temperature and since the yeast metabolism is faster, the fermentation times are shorter. The finished beer has more robust flavor with estery and flowery notes. Lagers, on the other hand, are fermented at cooler temperatures and the fermentation process is longer. Lager beers tend to be crisp and refreshing with cleaner and more delicate and mellow flavors. After fermentation is done, lager yeast settles to the bottom of fermentation tank and ale yeast tends to flow to the top of the vessel. Fermenting wort samples are collected and analyzed throughout the fermentation in order to monitor the process. Yeast cell counts are done with the help of a microscope and a hemocytometer. Fermenting wort pH, alcohol level and apparent extract are also analyzed on a daily basis. The collected data can then be plotted in order to produce a fermentation graph. Once the fermentation is done, the vessel is crash cooled and the yeast slurry is collected for the subsequent fermentation. At this point, we have a product which is called the green beer, which still has to go through the aging process, which can last between one and several weeks. After the aging process is complete, the beer is either transferred or filtered into the bright beer tank. At this point, the fermentation vessel can be first cleaned and then sanitized to be ready for the next batch.